a king in the north, forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. So strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Turn back. She has to keep going. It's not safe here. She has to keep going. If you go down there, no one can save you. It's too scary. I can hear him. Within the burial mound, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mounds to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs>
He is, finally. Oh, God. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. You have to find him. This is your mission. Find him. You have to use everything you have and find him. Get him back. He was just there. How could you lose him? How could she lose him? How could she? Find him. The voice is getting louder. Listen. Dillian. <gasps> listen, listen, listen. It's him. Listen. It's getting louder. There he is. You're getting closer. Keep going. Stand up. Follow the voice. You're nearly there. Dillian's voice. It's him. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. It's not him. It's not him. We told you. <gasps> doesn't sound like Dillian anymore. What's happening? It's not him, it can't be. What's that sound? The voice is changing. What? <gasps> That's not Dillian. That doesn't sound like Dillian. It sounds like something here. more dangerous. Something is here. Something is in the labyrinth with you. Something evil. <gasps> Find another way. It's not working. You have to use your mind. Where can you go? You're failing. Find another Think. way. Think. 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 Focus. Think. Use your mind. Where's you don't recognize it. it. Don't doubt yourself. You'll never find it. She doesn't recognize it. Yes, you do. You know where you are. She doesn't. Listen for his voice. Listen. Dillian. Where Listen are you? Listen for his voice. Dillian. She can't.
Hervor ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Hervor demands her inheritance, but her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. wants me to face my fears. I'm leaving. I've decided. I think it will be good for me. It's the darkness. It's speaking through. No, Dad, it's me. I think I can beat it. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief no. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said I could be normal. Normal? Yes. No boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Come, child, take my hand. Come, send one. No! I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. They're taking you from the inside. You're disappearing one memory at a time. You remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're not yours anymore. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. They belong to the gods, not to you. They're eating you from the inside. They want to kill your soul. They want to crush it. You think they want your body. They want your soul. They want your mind, and they're going to take it. The memories were yours, but they're the gods now. Nothing is yours anymore. 